DFI Network CFR Sports. Trustfully, everybody is well. Action packed weekend full of fights. <laughs> Starting locally with a newish promotion out of the Netherlands, Levels Fight League. Team Renegade. Congratulations, Tom Breeze is the new middleweight champion via guillotine. I think it was the third round. And Akon Wallace has become the first lightweight champion. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Team Renegade is doing the thing. The Unraki, oh, sorry. He also won the title via Ovia. Guillotine submission. Congratulations. Uh, and real soon we got to fight um, another championship bout with uh, Mr. Leon Rocky Edwards against Usman. Some people aren't giving um, him much of a chance potentially, but Brum's being in the gold home. I'm confident in that. It's definitely going to be a tough fight. And anything can happen in mixed martial arts, that game. So, yeah, let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. Um, see if we can get some more gold for Team Renegades. And I think Levels Fight League, I'm sure they've I've interrogated the website. I'm sure it's October when they, uh, they plan to hold and the next event. Akon was very vocal and said he wants to defend this this year's strap. So trust we will see both guys back on that card most definitely. And uh, again, congratulations. Moving on to PFL. <laughs> Firstly, I want to say what on earth was that judge doing? I mean, the ref. He stood fighters up for no apparent reason. And I'm glad the um, the broadcast team, they should have been a little bit more vocal, I think, but they was displeased with the uh, the riffing capabilities of this guy. Maybe this is his first televised event for a big organization or something, but <clears throat> it was terrible. And then there was an, a low blow incident. It was weird. It was the weirdest thing. Um some critiques i think we really need to like review the um the broadcast um evander holyfield didn't much respect to, to the to the legend and all that yeah i think it was just silly there was no he didn't really add any value if he was a mixed martial arts fan of sorts you know and had some knowledge yeah of course it would have been good to have him up and talk something but he was more there from an athlete standpoint. Um, he didn't look the best as well. Obviously, he's not training professionally anymore. And they did try to allude to him fighting. And, <laughs> and we sense he was like, no, 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 I ain't doing that. So, yeah, um, I think a little bit of the, the card was just ridiculously long. 30 minutes before the first fight. Um, I know it's a live event and stuff, but uh, that element of it needs to be sorted. I'm glad that there is no stupid advertisements. Um, but yeah, I think you could take a page out of one championship's books um, to have a, a more smoother transition in between fights. It's not like we're just getting knockout after knockout after knockout. So yeah, of course, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, strange to say the least. Boba Jenkins did his thing, unanimous decision. He had a nasty swollen eye. He, he even looked like it could have been a back of broken or up at all, but I don't think that's been reported. Um, excellent performance. PT didn't get the um, the win. I mean, sorry, the uh, uh, you know, like a TKO submission, you know, the finish that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Finish. Um, Lance Palmer, excellent um, performance against Shaman Marias. That was on the preliminary cards. Uh, some other good ones. 
Stevie Ray submitted Mr. Showtime Pettis via some kind of a modified body lock would be the best, almost like a twister. Um, but yeah, a floating rib, some kind of rib injury. It looked like he was turning out into, sorry, turning into the position and he just got caught up. He was reminiscent of sorts of the Colby Covington and Tyrone Woodley, but not as dramatic. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Showtime was able to get up unaided. Yeah, disappointing on Mr. Showtime's part. Um, it was looking pretty good of sorts. Didn't really commit as much. The last performance was very good. Um, Stevie Raker and Diddy Singh. Strange thing about this is the, um, the, the, the points thing. I mean, I understand the concept of it, but when you look at the end of this event, we've got someone who lost, who's number one seed based upon the points he scored. And then you've got someone, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. And then the person who's beat him is still below him in the rankings or in the, 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 the scheduled thing, whatever. It's um silly. When you get situations like, and it's silly also when you have the performances of some of the um, athletes where they know that you know they're through in essence. So we saw coasting of fights or or maybe gentleman agreements behind the scenes and stuff. This is that ruins the product. So let's let's try and do some do some tweaking around that. And um, Bellator, moving on to Bellator. Uh, not sure what happened to Gay Guard Musafi. Musa Musasi, as the ring announcer says. Um, excellent performance by Mr. Uh, Eblin. Is that your name? Yeah, that my UE just dominated poor um, Gay Guard. I think it was that first punch that landed flush kind of thing. Gay got to see, just couldn't get started. Very grappling heavy, um, control, very dominant. It was a lot better than the Logan story, grapple heavy, heavy um, win victory, which again, Scott Coker was like, he shouldn't have won it like that. Um, and trust me, they're going to run that shit back. Pardon the profanity. Uh, but yeah, overall, a very good performance by the new champion. Uh, interesting to see the rematch that has to be done based upon um, Gay Garn's historical performances. Um, was it like 49? Was it 50-45, the decision? Or was it 49-46? It was a, 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 a clear demolishing. It would have been good for him to go for the finish. Gegard was definitely tired after the first round. Third round, he was extremely tired. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. That was a, it was an interesting one. It was definitely an interesting one. Entertaining. Um, thought Gegard would have been able to come out and do a little bit more. Um, but yeah, this is the game of mixed martial arts. Lots coming up. I might even touch the UFC. That, that was an interesting card, but yeah. Loads of people are doing that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to jump on a train. And don't forget your ticket because the, the conductor is checking tickets now. So be, be on your P's and your Q's.